Well, you know, when I first revealed to my father I wanted to be an actor, I did it in desperation because he wanted me to be a businessman. I was going to go to Ann Arbor and take business administration. I knew I couldn't compete with my father for one moment. He was a very comp accomplished, powerful man who, head of B.F. Goodrich, he eventually co-founded the University of Waterloo. I couldn't contend with that sort of thing. So I did get the courage one day to go to him and say, Daddy, I don't want to go to Ann Arbor. And then was the period that came when he didn't speak to me. For Finally, he came back after about three weeks and he said, well, if you don't want to go to Ann Arbor, what do you want to do? And in desperation, unable to think of anything else, I had done fairly well in high school dramatics. I said, I want to be an actor. Another three week silence. <laughs> then he came back and he said, I have something to say to you, which may take a while. It took a half hour. He described to me all the pitfalls and dangers of being in the profession of acting. And it took me nearly 15 years of acting to realize that what he'd said was absolutely true. So that's about the first advice I'd give to a young actor coming to me saying, what must I be prepared for? And what must you be prepared for as a young Insecurity. Actor? It's happening all around us right now at the festival. They don't know what's coming next year. And these young people are in many cases very competent, very capable, and should be able to be cast immediately. But that's what's happening. There are too many actors now. Let's go back to what your father said in, you in that 30 minutes about what's facing a young actor. We've had the first one, insecurity. What, what else? Insecurity was his big thing. Because now I have been in the theatre since I was, in professional theatre since I was 20. I'm 86 going on 87, so that's a fair number of years. I have never been out of work. I have never owed a cent. Have you felt insecure? Yes. I have. Why? <laughs> You've never been out you, of work. You never know. I remember the last uh, <clears throat> night of that first year of Stratford, walking out that driveway, crying my eyes out, thinking, it's all over, that's the end of it. And as I say now, if I'd known what was coming next, I'd be crying for an entirely different reason. <laughs> it's 46 years I've been here now. But the actor never knows what's coming next. 